Hi, my name is Yuna and this is Harper. Hi. And we're here with Eastside Stories and today we're going to try eight different dumplings from eight different restaurants from eight different parts of Asia. Ready? Yes. Let's go. All right, so first up we have Shashbara from Uzbekistan. Ready? Okay. You try first. I try first? Okay. Mmm. Can I try? Of course. Eh, look why? Ah. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm. Mm. Is it yummy? <laughs> this restaurant serves ugar food, which is from the Kashka part of China. <laughs> On another bite? Yeah. I want that dumpling. And now we're at a Thai restaurant trying their version of a dumpling called chumong, which is a Thai savory snack. Ready, Mimi? Yes. Let's try it. Mommy, it tastes so delicious. Of course it was delicious. Some might say that dish was expensive, but that's because it's so intricate and takes a lot of effort to make. Now we're finally here to eat fried dumplings! Yay! My favorite! And where are they from? China. Very good. Do you know how to say dumplings in Chinese? Jiaozi. Do you know how to say fried dumplings in Chinese? It's called guo tian. Guo tian jiaozi. No, it's called guo tian, but close enough. You ready to take a bite? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna dig in first. You're gonna dig in first? Okay. How is it? Did you know that the shape of the dumpling was actually inspired by the old Chinese money called inklets? Inklets! <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what that even means. It's a little gold coin. Uh, I mean, a gold dumpling. A gold thing. A gold thing that's shaped like this. Alright, you're just eating. Cool. We are now at our next spot called Minka, which is a Japanese restaurant. And we are here to try their version of a dumpling called gyozas. And gyozas are very similar to the fried dumplings we had earlier, but their skin is a lot thinner, which allows it to be crispier. So, ready to try some? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. But is it good though? So we are currently in front of Punjabi Delhi in the snow, but we're gonna have some Indian dumplings called samosas. Ta da! And actually, samosas were the very first fast food item in all of India. So you ready to try some? Yep. Uh. Mmm. Oh. What do you think, Mimi? Is it delicious? Mmm. 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 -hmm. I definitely need a cup of water. I definitely need a cup of water. And now we're at our next restaurant called Cook, which is a Korean restaurant. And we're gonna try their version of a dumpling called mandu. Can you say mandu? Mandu! Mandu resembles a lucky pouch, which is often given out on Korean holidays as good fortune. Mmm, mmm, mmm. <laughs> mm. Oh god. What do you think? It's good, it's sour, and it's sweet. So what would you rate it? I'll give it 10 stars. 10 stars, wow. Now we are at an Afghan restaurant called Sammy's Kebab House and we are going to try their mantu, which dates all the way back to Turkic and Mongol horsemen of Central Asia. And we are so excited to try it. Ready, Mimi? Mmm. That is so good. What do you think? I don't know what it tastes like. Does it taste good? Do you like it? Last but not least, we are at our final dumpling spot, which is called Fa Yul, which is a Tibetan restaurant. Now these things are called momos, and they were originated from the Kathmandu Valley, but then later introduced to Tibet. So without further ado, want some? Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, can I? I wanna eat three. You wanna eat three? 
Okay, ready? <gasps> oh, um, <laughs> How is it? Is it delicious? Do you like it? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, the anxiety is a mother watching yes, this. I'm going for it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed eating all the different dumplings. And there's no better way to end this video than the melting pot of diversity in Jackson Heights. Comment down below what was your favorite dumpling dish that you would absolutely want to try. Or let us know what favorite dish of yours we should try next. Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will catch you guys next time. Mm.